Welcome along guys to episode 6 of the Ultimate SMCR build. In this episode we're going to be doing little odds and, odds and sods really. <laughs> we'll be fitting the brilliant Super Mo Fools headlight as you can see. I've done it. It's magic. It's already on there. It's not going to be on there in a minute. But we'll be fitting that. We'll also be doing odds and little jobs. Little jobs and stuff today. We'll also be doing some other little bits and bobs. I'll be stripping stuff off. Update on my front caliper, putting some bling on, updates, and all that. Chopsy, roll the intro. Look at all these bits. This is it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous amounts of bits I've got. The bits of 690 I've got knocking around now. <laughs> A lot of this is stuff to go off to be painted, but you know, we really are over the biggest part of this project now. We're on the downhill slope, I would say. Final few things to get coated and coated by my mate Adam at A1 Powder Coating. Let's put this lot down without dropping it. But we're over the worst of it. We're on the downhill section. We're just really bolting on the cool stuff now, really. That's, that's you get to a project where you've taken stuff off and you're left with the good, exciting stuff. Bolted, taking off the stock stuff, putting on the bling. <laughs> it's one of my favourite jobs, and it's what we're doing today. <laughs> Ooh, sexy. Scales, not only good for weighing bike parts, but lovely for making Cadbury's cream egg brownies. Ooh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Now you want a brownie, don't you? Cut 185 grams unsalted butter into small cubes and tip into a medium bowl. Fill a small saucepan about a quarter full with hot water. Then sit the bowl on top so it rests on the rim of the pan, not touching the water. Would you like to know more? So what we're going to do now is fit the Super Mofuls LED headlight. So in normal fashion, I want to weigh this first compared to the stock headlight. See how much extra weight. I think this is going to be heavier because it's got all the LED cooling fins on the back. But uh, let's see. So first of all, you've got to get the stock um, headlamp out of the cow. Hold on a sec. You were talking about losing weight off the bike while you eat chocolate oh. brownies. Shut up, Mavis. We're in lockdown, Mavis. Christ, there's nothing else to do, is there? Stockeroo. 480 grams. Super Mo Fools LED. 500 grams. Little God. It's only, it's only 20 grams in it. 500 grams. 500 grams. I thought it was going to be more heavy than that. Brilliant. So, so far weight saving we're at 5.6 kilos saved for those which asked the standard air box was 1.65 kilos the rotty kit was 1.3 kilos so there's a weight saving with the rotty kit um, the little key surround the standard one weighs 100 grams the carbon Tecmo one weighs 20 grams so it's a bit of a saving on the uh, on the key surround as well we have saved 5.665 kilos oh, speaking of saving weight we might as well finish that you fat sod mm. oh oh bollock oh ball bag mm. Mm. <laughs> look at that that's looking way sexier. The beam direction is done here. There's a little bit of movement here to adjust the headlight beam. So I want the beam as low as possible, which is about there. And I haven't got to worry about uh, blinding oncoming motorists. But look at that. That looks way better than that. That's really moddened up the bike. And these not only fit the 701690, obviously these will fit all of the KTM Enduro range because they all use this same front cow. Lovely. 140 euros, I believe. Bargain. And, and, I think it's 150 euros, but I can get you 10 euros off with the code in the description. Do it. <laughs> that looks 
Brilliant, I can fit that now. I think I can fit that. There's nothing else got to go around this cow. I think I can actually fit that bad boy. Plug and play, of course, into the stock harness. And that's it. Let's just turn the bike on, check that works before I go and uh, put everything back on. Gordon, blimey, that's bright. Okay, that works, let's bang it on. Look at that. What do you think, mate, this? Samuel Jackson would say that's one bad the business, isn't it? It's making me wet. Let's power her up once more. Yeah, that's quite bright. Bright enough to illuminate hell. <laughs> So beautiful as this headlight is, it's not absolutely perfect because it's got no high and low beam functionality. <laughs> it's a minor thing to keep you on the right side of the law, but it's basically just on or off. So low beam has that light on, high beam it will go off, there's no high beam bit into it. So for MOT purposes I'm going to have to swap it back and put the standard light on. So just be aware, if you want one of these, there's no high low beam, it's just on. But I can live with that. Newsflash update. I managed to use the existing brake line with the M4 caliper. I've got to get a different banjo and, and do it properly, but this is just to see if it fitted. But I had to go around the outside of the uh, fork leg, not the inside. Even with a different brake line, because like on, on these calipers, the, the outlet's like on the inside of the caliper, if you like, even with a slightly different angled one, I think I would struggle to get it come up and, to get it to come up around the inside. So I'm gonna go outside. I did that on my Supermoto, it works fine. This is obviously bolted here. So it's bolted here, it doesn't move. There's no flex on this as the suspension goes up and down. This is all fixed. But as you can see, I've also just test fitted my Tecmo, 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 Tecmo. brake caliper uh, air cooling duct if you like so the air goes in this end and gets directed at the caliper so when you're on track you know you shouldn't have any problems with the brakes overheating yeah okay it's more of a bling thing <laughs> but doesn't it look beautiful i can't wait to see that with uh, the wheels on everything it's going to absolute that front end is looking mwah, gorgeous what do you think mavis if that looked any hotter it would have to be water cooled Bloody lovely. Ding dong. What's that, Mavis? Is somebody at the door? What's the cable doing? What's that, Mavis? Is somebody at the door? It must be a delivery. We've got a parcel. Looks like it's from Rottweiler Performance. What could it be? That is Womble's kit for a 701. Nothing to do with me. Start my slippers. You know what that is? That's the Rottweiler bag for the storage that goes where the airbox used to be. So that little bag to put my tools in or my, uh, my brownies. <laughs> Just what I wanted. But it's storage on the 690. Hello. 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 I've removed all of the footrests, so all of these sort of bare aluminium footrests from here and the other side. I'm going to get the I'm going to get these seracoted. So I'm going to give all this lot to my mate Adam to get seracoted, probably in a sort of gun metal, a nice dark grey colour or a blacky sort of finish. It's, uh, I'm going to sort of black out the bike a little bit, and they're just a bit too shiny. So seracoted a dark colour exact colour to be confirmed. Watch this space. But Chopsy, you said there was going to be lots of bling in this episode. I know, I know. You want bling? Check this out. Ooh, ooh, look at that bling. Look. Mm, wow. Look at that. I've actually got some titanium bolts coming for these. So this is going to be just temporarily with the stock bolts, but we're going TI. Now that is what I call 
sexy. Ugh. Need some more fluid in there when I bleed my brakes through again, finally. There's no fluid in that because my brakes, my line's empty, everything needs doing. So just nip that gently for now. Give it a wipe. Everything fits beautifully. The quality of the SM Project Parks is fantastic. Absolute fit on that is lovely. Oh, I really must get me. It's lockdown. I really must get my hair cut. It's getting a bit ridiculous at the moment, but uh, there we go, guys. We're all done. That's about all I can show you in this episode. I think the uh, the bling, that's all the bling. We've, we've got to save some bling for later episodes. We can't get it all done in one shot. I'm not finished with this bike. There's more stuff to come. Louis Moto seat cover with their soft foam. So I'm going to, my standard seat, I'm going to fit that onto the standard seat. It's also going to have some LCR embroidery on it. I'm really looking forward to that. The bike's not finished by a long chalk and it is still going to be the ultimate SMCR. It really is going to be fantastic. So I think the next one, hopefully we're going to have the, the painted bits back from Adam. We can get all those back on. A bit more information on the wheels. Um, uh, we could slow down a little bit now. I've been pushing these out once every week, but we're going to be waiting for things to come back a little bit now. But I have news on the Hypermotard. The cylinders are now going to be Cerakoted in the Netherlands. Twan is getting them Cerakoted locally. So he said, I want them Cerakoted. I thought, well, it's a shame to do everything I've done with that project and not finish it off with Cerakoted cylinders and heads. So hopefully we can have the SMCR and the Hypermotard build running together at the same time. That'll be amazing to have, you know, I'm, I'm, this is nearly done. So we need the Hyper to get stuck into now. And that's proper stuck into, that's engine assembly job. I'm rather scared. But there we go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Stay safe. Keep it real. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Cheerio. We're all going a little bit stir crazy here. A few people saying, you know, they don't believe this is my real hair. You know, it's not a wig. This is, uh, it's not a wig. It's not a toupee, it's not a wig, it's a hair replacement system. Don't even think about putting that rat on me. Would you like to know more?